We have four lovely chicks here, two males and two females it looks like. We will put uh, bands on their legs to mark them. In addition, uh, while we've got them done, we are going to take a small blood sample from the birds. The peregrine falcons disappeared from the upper Midwest by about in the early 1960s. They were exterminated completely by DDT. And the fact that we have peregrines here now is the result of the fact that we actively went about re raising young birds in captivity and releasing them to the wild. The falcons that are, were bred in captivity came from various origins, uh, eastern United States, uh, Saskatchewan, Alaska, Scotland, Australia. Uh, there's 17 subspecies of peregrines worldwide, and we've got about uh, nine or 10 of them that are represented in this population. This is a little male peregrine. Sandy Wintz from the Department of Public Safety, Driver Vehicle Services, submitted a nice little roster of names, and we're going to choose Tori. <laughs> There's two bands that go on. There's a, a band that's per, anodized a purple color. These are conventional U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service marking bands. And uh, this purple color is used universally throughout the upper Midwestern states. So on the other leg then is attached either a black over green over, or a black over red band that has very large numbers embossed on it that we can read at, oh, 100 yards or so with a uh, telescope. All right, so this little fellow, we, uh, we named him uh, H.B., Dr. Bud Tordoff, H.B. Tordoff, was the uh, heart and soul of the peregrine restoration in the Midwest. Bud passed away last summer. And so this bird is being given Bud's name in his honor and his memory, and we wish him well and hope he gets to be the father of lots of baby peregrines in years to come. They're about three weeks old right now, and they leave the nest when they're between six and seven weeks of age, or seven and eight. About 42 days of age is kind of the magic. They're pretty well feathered out, and they, before they leave the nest, they've spent a lot of time flapping their wings and things like that, and they just, one day, just bail off. There's the, on the one nice thing about these buildings with their vertical sides on them, there's always, if the wind is right, you always get these tremendous updrafts that come on them, so they literally just step off the edge and spread their wings, and they usually go up. Thank <laughs> you.